boys and girls, we are going to start a new read aloud. Every day I'll post a chapter of Junie B. Jones has a peep in her pocket until I'm done with this book. And then we'll move on to another book. Okay. And I'm actually not going to show my face. I'm going to show the words instead so you can follow along too. Here's the first picture. <laughs> chapter one is called Confusing Stuff. Hello, my name's Junie B. Jones. The B stands for Beatrice, except I don't like Beatrice. I just like B and that's all. I'm almost six years old. Almost six is when you get to go to school. And so, last summer, mother took me to the school office and she rolled me in afternoon kindergarten. Rolled is the grown-up word for sign me up and made me go. Only guess what? I don't even mind going there hardly, cause I made two bestest friends at that place, that's why. Their names are Lucille and that Grace. We are like three peas in a row. My teacher's name is Mrs. She has another name too, but I just like Mrs. and that's all. Only here's the trouble. Just when I was getting good at kindergarten, Mrs. made announcement to our class. And she said that pretty soon school is going to end. I did a gasp at that terrible news. <gasps> no, Mrs. No, no, no. How can school end? Because mother said I have to go to school till I'm an old teenager. And I'm not even six years old yet. Mrs. Quick, quick shaked at her head. Oh, dear. I'm sorry, Junie B. She said. I'm afraid that you've misunderstood me. School isn't going to end forever. School will just be taking a summer vacation. She smiled at me. You and everyone else in this class will come back to school in September. It's just that you won't be in room nine anymore. I quick got out a paper and crayon. Hokey doke. Then tell me the name of our new room, I said, because I will need to tell mother where to bring me. Mrs. did a little frown. I'm sorry, she said again, but right now I have no idea what room you'll be in next year. Now I did a frown too. So what am I supposed to do then? Just wander around the school until I find you people? Mrs. looked funny at me. You still don't understand. She said, next year, you're going to have a different teacher, Junie B. Next year, you're going to be in first. First what? I asked. First grade, she said. Just then, my stomach felt sickish inside because I don't even like first graders. That's why first graders are bullies to me at recess. And I don't want to be in the same room as those guys. Pretty soon, a boy named William started to sniffle very much because William hates first graders even more than me. That's because one time, a first grader stole William's winter hat with the ear flaps and he put it on a dog that was running around the playground. And the dog runned it away with William's ear flap hat forever. I patted William very nice. Me and William don't want to be in the same room as first graders, I told Mrs. Me and William prefer children our own age. Me too, said my bestest friend Lucille. I prefer children my own age too. Me too, hollered a boy named Polly Ellen Puffer. Me too, said a girl named Charlotte. Mrs. said shh to us. Boys and girls, please. Now everyone is misunderstanding me, she said. We need to get clear on this right now. Next year, when you come back to school, you will not be in class with the children who are first graders this year. Next year, those children will move up to second grade and you people will move to first, understand? I thought and thought about that. And all of a sudden, a light bulb came on in my head. Oh, I get it now. All of the grades move up, right, Mrs.? 
everyone does? She clapped her hands. Right, exactly. She said, very happy. Now, may I please get on with my announcement? I brushed my skirt very smoothly. Yes, you may, I said real polite. Okay, said Mrs. As I started to tell you earlier, I have very happy news for room nine, because this year, for the first time ever, we are going to go on a special end of the year field trip. She smiled real big. We're going to a farm. Doesn't that sound like fun? A farm, shouted the children. A farm, a farm, we're going to a farm. Then Lucille hugged me very thrilled. A, a farm, she said real squealy in my ear. A farm, I said real glum, because guess what? Farms are not my favorites. Until next time, boys and girls, bye-bye.